So here we need to evaluate the sum of the three problems. So let's begin with number one. So here we have summation or n value going from one to 11. So that means we have 11 terms here of the sequence given by two plus three raised to the power of n. So here our sequence is given by two plus three raised to the power of n. So for n equals to one, we'll obtain our first term, which will be e1 given by two plus three raised to the power of one. For n equals to 2, so that's going to give us the second term. So a2 will be 2 plus 3 squared. Similarly, for n equals to 3, we're going to obtain the third term, which will be 2 plus 3 raised to the power of 3. Fine. Now we will find out the sum. So the summation of 2 plus 3 raised to the power of n, where n goes from 1 to 11, that will be equals to, so we have the first term, 2 plus 3 raised to the power of 1. This is added to the second term, 2 plus 3 squared. This goes on and on to the 11th term, which will be 2 plus 3 raised to the power of 11. So we'll combine the first term of each of the terms. So that means 2 plus 2. This is uh, added to itself 11 times. Then we have 3 plus 3 squared plus 3 cubed all the way up to 311. So this is uh, 11 number of terms. Now we have 2 added to itself 11 times. So that will be simply 2 times 11 plus so this is a geometric uh, series here the first term is 3 and the common ratio are 3 squared over 3 so that's 3 as well so our sum will be equals to 3 multiplied to 3 the common ratio raised to the power of 11 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 which is going to give us the value 22 plus 3 times 3 raised to the power of 11 minus 1 divided by 2 so this is going to be the required sum of the given series let's go to number two so here we have a sequence or sequence is given by 2 raised to the power of n plus 3 raised to the power of n minus 1 so for the first term n value equals to 1 our first term will be a1 equals to 2 raised to the power of 1 plus 3 raised to the power of 1 minus 1 so that's 0 for n equals to 2 we will obtain the second term so a2 will be 2 squared plus 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 1 so that's 1 our third term will be a3 equals to 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 3 raised to the power of uh, 3 minus 1 so that's 2 now the sum so we'll consider our summation 2 raised to the power of k plus 3 raised to the power of k minus 1 where the k goes from 1 to n so that will be equals to our first term 2 raised to the power of 1 plus 3 raised to the power of 0 add it to 2 squared plus 3 raised to the power of 1 plus 2 cubed. Uh, then we have 2 cubed plus 3 raised to the power of 2. This goes all the way up to the nth term. So we've got 2 raised to the power of n plus 2, 3 raised to the power of n minus 1. This gives us 2 raised to the power of 1 plus 2 squared plus 2 cubed all the way up to 2 raised to the power of n. This will be the first term. And we will combine all the second terms of each of the terms. So we have 3 raised to the power of 0 plus 3 raised to the power of 1 going all the way up to the last term which is 3 raised to the power of n minus 1. So this is a geometric progression with first term being a and the common ratio 2 squared over 2 so that's 2. And this is also geometric progression with our first term e equals to 1 3 raised to the power of 0 is 1 and the common ratio is 3 raised to the power of 1 divided by 3 raised to the power of 0 so that's 3 using the formula for the sum which is given by sn a times r raised to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 we will now obtain the sum equals to so we have 2 multiplied to 2 raised to the power of n minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 plus 3 uh, first term multiplied to 3 raised to the power of n minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 so that is going to give us 2 times 2 raised to the power of n minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 multiplied to 3 raised to the power of n minus 1. So this is the sum of the given sequence up to n terms. Now let's go to the third one. For the third sum, we have a sequence a n which is given by 4 raised to the power of n. To obtain the first term, here we will not start with n value equals to 1 but we will start with n equals to 2 because our summation says that n starts from n equals to 2. For n equals to 2, we'll obtain our first term. So our first term then will become a2, which is the first term that's equals to 4 squared. Then n equals to 3, this is going to give us the uh, second term. So we'll have a3 equals to 4 cubed. 
this goes on and on up to the 10th term. So for the 10th term n equals to 10, we have a 10 equals to 4 raised to the power of 10. So our sum will be, so the summation, 4 raised to the power of n, where n equals to 2 goes from, n goes from 2 to 10, this will be equals to 4 squared plus 4 cubed plus 4 raised to the power of 4 all the way up to 4 raised to the power of 10, which will be equals to, so this is a geometric progression with our first term being 4 squared multiplied to the common ratio so 4 cubed divided by 4 squared that's 4 now the question is how many terms are there since we have uh, starting from 2 and going all the way up to 10 so here in we have 9 terms we will raise 4 to the power of 9 minus 1 whole divided by the common ratio 4 minus 1 so this is going to give us 4 squared is 16 so 16 divided by 3 multiplied to 4 raised to the power of 9 minus 1 so this is going to be the final value